A greeting, Sagittarius, and so good to see you today. Um, welcome to Ingrid's Insights, and my name is Ingrid for those who are new to my channel and to my regular viewers. Wow, well, let's dive right in. And the message is uh, angelic protection. Well, that's around you and this reading uh, and around the card. So a trust that you've got this shield and this sword of protection around you as you come into this reading. And the angels want you to know that the theme of the reading is uh, a spiritual growth. Well, you have that protection the angels are around you so you can feel that spiritual growth and that halo, that aura around you. A trust in that. Take time to pray and to uh, maybe set up an altar, um, a spiritual altar with candles or flowers or that you just tap into uh, your third eye and really feel how protected you are and how much uh, you are ready now to do the work, the spiritual work of spiritual growth and be that illuminating energy and feel it now. You've got that protection now because your ancestors want you to know that uh, this reading is going to offer you something deep and ancient, maybe something that's within your DNA that you didn't even know. And what's coming is uh, the spring. Well, it's going to come in the spring. Whatever this is, this work that you're doing now, the harvest, you're going to see your seeds grow in the spring. And this angelic protection is here because um, you're going to set your sights higher on the stars and know you've got protection to do that. And this spiritual growth, growth is around a Sagittarius, uh, this a prayer you've had. You've maybe been praying or meditating uh, for a while now and is coming with the medicine mother. It could connect to a, a mother image. Uh, you could be a mother. This could be an ancient feminine energy spirit you connect to. But you're going to uh, have this spiritual growth because you're honoring your inner knowing with the uh, high priestess. You might be needing to take time out to uh, tap into your intuition. You could be taking up tarot or psychic um, energies uh, such as clairvoyance, clairaudience, uh, paying attention to your dreams. And what is going to happen is the earth guardian wants you to ground all of this uh, whatever you're seeing from your intuition, that inner knowing, that secret wisdom that you know within your gut instinct, uh, you're going to stay rooted and grounded. That is very important, Sagittarius, to bring that a uh, fire down uh, into the fire pit, so to speak, and um, nurture those coals, those embers. Honor your knowing. You're on a spiritual journey. You've got angelic protection. To be a stargazer, to set your sights higher now, a Sagittarius, you're ready. And it's coming because you're being asked to do the work. In the winter, it's important you're going to do the work because you're going to burst forward in the spring and see your seeds have grown. Stay rooted and grounded during the winter. Uh, stay rooted and grounded whenever this finds you. And uh, you have uh, this energy of the, the feathers, the green uh, crystal, the emerald. And thank you, Spirit Guides, for bringing us that message uh, for Sagittarius. And again, thank you for subscribing to my uh, channel and helping it grow. And this is what the tarot has for Sagittarius. Will you come into the reading with uh, the Page of Cups offering you something from the dreams, from your imagination? Uh, you're developing and honoring that inner knowing, and it's going to be very artistic, creative, inspiring, something you love. Uh, you're coming into, you're doing the work with this uh, page. Uh, this page is doing the work of connecting to the fish, to what they brought up from their unconscious, from the dreams. And you're uh, playing around with it. You're very, have a lot of youthful, young energy. That's what's uh, radiating from you. 
uh, and it's coming because there is a, a decision, a choice to be made. You're blindfolded, maybe because you needed to blindfold yourself. Uh, you closed your heart off. Uh, you see with the heart um, guardian, you've been holding your heart. Maybe you've been going through a difficult a time, a heartache, uh, a loss, but you're seeing uh, that a choice is going to be made. And you've got the angelic protection to make this choice, uh, to do the work. And there's a lot of possibilities of areas that are growing in your life behind you and different potentials. Uh, and you need to see that the new moon, there are these uh, new intentions you can make and the intention is coming toward a new love offer, a new uh, energy that you will love. Um, and it's coming with the two, another two. So this could be involving a relationship that you're thinking about, making a choice on, uh, having the infinity sign that you're uh, juggling it, balancing, thinking through it. Um, Sagittarius at this time. And that's interesting how you're balancing that. You could be working at two different jobs or soon working hard, but then coming home and there's something you really love, a new creative opportunity that when you get home, you're going to have to juggle doing that. But it's really going to be Im imaginative, inspiring, connecting you. But times are changing and there's balance and uh, coming into connections, uh, realignment, uh, connecting and honoring your inner knowing because you're going to see the truth about a situation. This is somebody who has gone through many different situations in life, an older, mature person you might know. Or this is coming in to you. You are becoming this person. The butterfly of transformation, a Sagittarius, is allowing that a change. You could be talking to a lawyer or a business person who is very much about analysis, looking at the facts. You might really love this um, energy. It might be a daydreaming or imaginative, artistic. But there's a decision to be made and balance that has to uh, come into it, financial balance, uh, time balance, time management skills, also decision-making skills and goal setting. And you're going to see something truthfully and accurately and with wisdom. Um, and what's coming uh, at the crown uh, is an evaluation, an appraisal, maybe this king of swords is coming in uh, to help you, uh, Sagittarius, appraise, evaluate this investment. Is this where you want to keep investing? Um, are you getting the information you need? You do have angelic protection and you're setting your sights on something higher with the stargazer. But you're doing the work. You have done the work. Uh, You've been planting your seeds. You're going to get the truth maybe and now about what is growing here and what the investment will return in the spring. But you're seeing it clearly now, whatever you've been working on, uh, but you're kind of um, evaluating, appraising it, and um, it's taking a while. Slow and steady, it's saying, keep working at it. Uh, Sagittarius, you might be feeling like giving up or feeling like, well, is this true? Is this what I should do? Do I have the angelic protection? Am I really doing the work? But it's saying keep on going, pay attention to the details. And if you need to kind of get the process of moving along quickly, well, maybe look through that, but stay rooted and grounded. Um, and it's going to be just and balanced. Whatever this love offer coming in, this love energy, this new love, this tender, childlike, almost passionate, artistic, creative, flamboyant energy, you're balancing that out. You're going to make a decision about it. Uh, and it's going to come in quickly from your environment, a Sagittarius, a, a, a lot of communication about something that you love or some something that people love about you, Sagittarius. And it's coming in, you're going to, people are going to talk about it. You're going to get this uh, sense of whatever you've been evaluating, 
and you've gotten some energy and some accurate truth about, some clarity, some professional um, information, uh, you are going to make a decision about whatever it is you're loving creatively, imagining about with balance, with a change, with juggle, with work. You're doing the work here and you've been working at it. Uh, and having to balance that out and it's maybe taking a while and you're wondering, well, what I've worked so hard on this. Should I take this coin and move on? Uh, but it's saying balance it out. It's just, uh, it's coming in and it's coming in quickly from the environment, this information. This is going to be the green light, the yes card. Uh, everything that maybe you have a thought was so slow, it's going to speed up like suddenly the gates are going to open. And it's going to be the gates open toward this finish line, this completion, this rite of passage of Sagittarius. You're going through. And we've seen a lot of these, the energies of the twos uh, here and the two swords. So you're making, making a decision about a growing, expanding, something with your business, something you've been working on that you wanted to stay earthed and rooted and grounded here. Uh, but you're celebrating with this amazing portal of 1111. And we're coming up to that in November. And you've got, <clears throat> you're setting your sights higher now. You're connecting, you're expanding. And it's coming in so fast. Uh, Sagittarius, you might not even see it coming, but it's going to be balanced. So you know it's right and true, especially with the king of uh, swords and the um, justice. This is coming in. It's right. It's a, a wise decision to move forward in this way. And what is coming uh, is this energy of the Hierophant. Well, that's a Taurus energy, a Sagittarius. Uh, but it's coming into perhaps uh, this could be a quick announcement of a marriage, of a connection, of a sacred marriage, of a commitment. And it's going to get a lot of communication about it what you want to commit to, what you want to celebrate, what you're growing, what this a freedom and expansion is that you've been working on. And you know it's right. It, the right outworkings of the situation is at hand because you recently were influenced by a professional decision, someone who looks at the facts and the details. And a decision is going to be made about this love, something you love doing, uh, um, something that came up out of a dream. And you have been balancing that energy and working hard at it uh, so you can uh, let go of any heartbreak from the past and look at that energy straight on and see, uh, yes, you do want to keep working slow and steady because you're taking a new beginning to work on uh, this new uh, idea that's bright, that is exciting, that is uh, maybe a risk. Uh, if you stay here, this is not a risk. You're taking this coin and stepping out, uh, taking a risk to hone in on that inner knowing and to let go of any kind of restriction that has held you back. Uh, this could have held you back uh, some uh, energy a third party could have been this third party could have been your own mind your own belief systems that were conflicting and causing a severance in relationships because you were not listening to your high priestess that inner knowing and now you are and that's going to bring you a lot of wealth uh, and some prosperity and also uh, bring you an energy of a masculine energy, Sagittarius, a Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo energy that sits on the throne, a business person. Uh, and that is also linking you to the Empress, which is Taurus energy. So you have, uh, it's so interesting, you have the high a priestess and, and in the form of the medicine, a mother, and then you have the 
empress and the high priest. And that is an interesting energy coming together with beauty, love, fertility um, of the earth, grounding it, uh, communicating, uh, connecting. The high, um, Hierophant connects heaven and earth, is that bridge uh, to this creation. And that is coming in with celebration and a new beginning. Um, Sagittarius, a lot's going on here. It's amazing. And that, that is what I have, but be wet, ready and willing uh, to take that leap of faith. And something uh, miraculous is coming in the spring. You'll be uh, uh, shocked uh, how your seeds have grown, how you've stayed rooted and grounded. And you're taking this new beginning toward uh, this empress, um, toward your own personal a sense of creation. But also you're going to be committed to this spiritual journey, uh, to spiritual growth. And that is what I have for my Sagittarius. And I hope this relates. Uh, there is so much uh, energy and quickness and celebration uh, coming in for you. Uh, this is exciting. Fired up, free, confident uh, manifestation. Uh, and you will celebrate that with love, with something new, something very artistic from your um, intuition. And so it is. And thank you so much for being here together. And if you haven't already, please comment. And see you next time. And sending you so much love. Bye-bye.